wanted to make a video on my new Pimacom uh, backup camera. This is the monitor. As you can see, it's the camera is on. It's right there. Um, it's got a solar panel on it that actually seems to work um, without the camera being on. And you bring out the light; these lights will light up. And as you can see, it's flashing like it's charging. But that is the picture quality on that camera and monitor. Um, this was uh, 129 something with a $11 coupon. So I got it for $119 plus tax on Amazon. Um, here is my old backup camera and monitor. I got this in 2020. I want to say it was around $80, but it is a wired system, or this is wireless. Um, this is the camera that is on the back of my trailer. As you can see, the camera still works. It's been mounted on there since sometime in 2020, 2021. Um, it obviously still works. It does. This system does lag a bit. I have that camera wired into my solar system on my trailer so it always has power you can see it's cutting in and out ever since I turned this on and have this in here it's been doing that I could turn this off Let's see if that still happens yep it still happens that camera might be going bad or something. Or maybe it's just the power to this. It doesn't seem to fit in here all the way. Let me try it directly into the car outlet. Maybe that's the problem. That's probably what the problem is, is that the sure thing there is probably not good enough connection. You can see the camera the picture quality on that is not that great. And this system does lag. Um, I did have one of the other camera to this in my car or mounted on my car, but it was had to be wired in too. And I had my back door repaired, and they cut the wires to that camera. So, instead of trying to get another one that's wired, I decided to go with wireless. As you can see, I turned the power off, and the lights are on, and it's flashing because I'm getting light on the solar panel. I'm guessing that's about a one or two watt panel. So, I mean, it would take forever to charge this battery. I just got this in the yesterday, and it does have a USB-C charger on it, and it comes with all the cords you need, including the one to plug this into the car. But the picture quality on this is much better. Um, this screen side-by-side, side, as you can see, is about two inches longer maybe three and it's at least half an inch taller maybe one one inch and it also has a side-by-side -side feature for two cameras and they do have in their manual that you can email the company and they will send you a free gift um, they might want a uh, five-star review or something they receive it or something not sure, but they have another second backup camera as an option on there and some other thing items. But this is what that system is. This is magnetic, so you can take it on and off anytime you want. These magnets are pretty strong. 
um, and it's a solar with the, came with the three antennas came with this cable it came with a USB A to USB C a USB A to one of these barrel plugs that would go to this camera to this uh, monitor but so far I haven't seen noticed any lagging in it it does not have nighttime vision so you have to have lights for it to see anything at night but this is a good option for a very quick setup and all you gotta do is put these antennas on I had to charge this up yesterday that probably took four hours or so to charge it with a provided cable but it is fully charged right now this just has to have power on it and when I turned it on it automatically synced to that camera and it does have a sync option on it um, that thing's still not flashing so that probably just has to be plugged in there turn that off the reason that's good is that metal plate and I got a magnet right there so what I want to do here still using the suction cup that comes with this is put a metal plate there and then I can mount this right here you see it says no signal it's because you had to turn the camera on so even though the lights are on right now it's because it's getting sun I turn that camera on and now it's got a picture so what I'll do to show I don't see any lagging. I mean, it is very close. I'll go put this camera outside and show you outside the picture. see that's the outside picture in the Sun I did adjust the brightness and contrast when I first got it and when the camera first came in it had a little blue sticker for, to cover the lens so I took that off I have not taken that little sticker cover off the screen yet see by this little green tab right there do a drive test. So I'm pulled up some and going back. Better if I had the monitor stuck to some little dash. That's too far over there. Try and do this in the phone instead of the monitor is probably bad. Okay. That is with it on the back of my car. I didn't notice any lagging whatsoever. So not a bad camera system. The 
video quality seems good. The picture quality is good. It is supposed to have a way to record things. Um, I don't know if that works yet. I'll have to test that out later. But now I have a camera I can use to back up and just take the camera off. I don't have to worry about someone's doing it at all. So, this, like I said, it's a Pimacom. Um, I that was about 130 after taxes on Amazon with an $11 coupon. The regular price was $130. So, if you're interested, go to Amazon and look it up. It has good reviews. Some people don't like it. One, the worst review on it said that it does not record. So, I don't know how that feature works, but something I'm going to try to figure out later. But not a bad backup camera especially with a solar panel it's magnetic so you can take it on and off you can leave it on while you're while you're doing whatever you need to do take it right off and turn it off it is supposed to be voice activated too um, it worked last night but I can't seem to make it work today I don't know if to reset it every day or not all these buttons they're not really buttons you just touch them so they're touch buttons you got your setting there and you can arrow through the options this one before so it looks like you can have a memory card in there so that's the camera option you can rewrite something it looks like it should be able to hold a memory card of some sort and you can set it to record for up to five minutes that's what that's seems to say yep that's all it seems to do so you might be taking up to five minute videos with this but you'd need some sort of memory card more likely so, alright well, that's a review of this I mean it's very easy to set up let me show you the camera just mounted right here. It's hard to take off with one hand. There it is again. It does recommend you use two hands to take it off. Manage to do it with one hand. That's all it takes.